just under 9,500 pounds. And a lot of people ask, how much are whales eat on a daily basis? And it depends on the whale. It depends on how many calories they need for their size and age. So right now, Tiny Feet is eating the most of all of our whales. He eats 155 pounds of food every single day. So they get six buckets, but you buy six silver buckets. All throughout the day, we get here at 6 or 7 in the morning. And days like today, we're here till so about 2 o'clock at night. So that food gets spread across. Um, they're getting about six different kinds of fish right now. They're getting herring, capelin, mackerel, squid, and large salmon throughout their day. So they get a variety of kinds of fish here at Zero San Antonio. Out in the wild, there are different types of orcas, different ecotypes of them. So depending on where they live, um, depends on their prey. So some types, such as more transient whales that travel longer distances, can be seen eating smaller marine mammals, seals, sea lions, really anything out in the ocean can be their prey. And some more residential types, like you might know of, um, the residential pods out by Washington and Canada, they're eating more fish, especially of salmon, and different kinds of fish like that. So it really depends on where they're living at at the time. So Cayuga is going to demonstrate some of the whale vocalizations that they can make. So let's take a listen.
So she's doing what's called a blue present. Um, in this position, we can actually get a blood sample from our whales. And we do actually do monthly physicals on each of our animals. So during that, we can get blood samples, we can do blood ultrasounds, ovarian ultrasounds, all kinds of different things. We can even get blood cultures on our whales. Another fun fact that we have here is that we actually brush our teeth, the teeth of our whales, every single day, twice a day. So we have a solution that we go in and mix their teeth out. Their teeth do not have the same enamel that we do, so they can't go down over time. So in order to keep them healthy, we actually brush them twice a day. So first thing in the morning and right before we leave, just like we do every day, we will rinse their teeth out, which is pretty amazing. They do have cone-shaped teeth that interlock like a zipper, but they actually swallow all of their food whole. So you might notice as our trainers are giving them fish or ice or all the different things that they're eating, they're swallowing all that whole. They're actually not chewing their food. They might get a big salmon or a big chunk of food and crunch it in half before they eat it, but at the end of the day, they're swallowing it whole, which is really cool. Next up, we're going to
more often here at places like SeaWorld because of the amount of interaction that takes place on the surface. In the wild, they're going to be hunting more deeper in the water, so you won't see it as often, but it does happen depending on what's in that pot. We also do have three female killer whales, if you have the chance to see them maybe later in one of our presentations. Um, their names are Kamea, Sakari, and Takara. In the killer whale hierarchy, the females are more dominant over the males. So these two might be much, much larger, double the size of some of our females, but regardless of size, they are less dominant than our other animals, which is really interesting to watch as well. A lot of people also ask us how we tell each of our animals apart. They all have their own distinguishing characteristics, so they might look similar to all of you here, but when you see them on a daily basis, they have different birth marks on them and different aspects that make them look differently as well. Like I was talking about their dorsal fin, how there's no bones or muscle in that, they also have their pectoral flippers on the sides of them, those are used for steering. And in that pectoral flipper, you'll actually be able to see if you were to x-ray it about five different digits, similar to what the video looks like your hand as well. So it's about time for us to wrap up our session for today. But before we go, we're going to give you guys one big last great big killer whale size goodbye.